hello guys uh, today uh, we are going to see the the uh, part of the syllabus from our uh, FIBSC uh, that is the parasitology right so what is meant by parasites so as per as uh, we all know what is meant by parasites okay parasites are the, those organisms who actually dependent on the other organism for their nutrition right so parasites include things that leave internal or external now internal parasite what is meant internal parasite means endoparasites or the external parasites means ectoparasites okay so parasites need a host material parasite need the host material guys host so they are actually living they are living inside the host and this is called it as endoparasite and if they are living on the host or nearby the host it is called it as ectoparasites okay so if broadly speaking all pathogens may be classified as parasites whatever pathogens are there microorganism fungus viruses right protist or the what do we call the um, protozoa group everything is parasites actually so, and narrowly narrowly speaking parasitology is the science that studies the relatively large parasite including parasitic protist okay worm and to the lesser degree pathogenic fungi and anthropod ectoparasites so today we will consider the protist helminthes fungi and arth or arthropods vectors of the infectious diseases but let's see today we are going to see the parasitology just okay and we'll see the types of parasitology what is meant by uh, different types of parasites or different types of host so here two concepts are there guy one is vector and other one is host what is meant by vector vector is a kind of living organism vector is actually a living organism that carries a disease causing organism right to the new host right so vector it could be anything suppose that suppose uh, there is a domestic wastage pipeline is there okay and in the domestic wastage pipeline uh, the various types of uh, bacteria viruses are flowing right and if if immediately suddenly some organisms some insects are sitting on a, on on that water channel and they will fly and come to your home okay and they will sit on the food vertical or whatever food article is situated on the table if they sit on the uh, if they uh, what do we call if they settle down on the food material immediately what happen the bacteria which is present or which is which is attached stuck to their legs immediately this bacteria viruses it will be released on the food so food will be contaminated and once you eat that food immediately you will get the disease okay in other terms this is just a bacterial uh, pathogens i'm talking about but again any other broad spectrum pathogens or parasites are also there like helminthes or some uh, some sort of eggs of different uh, uh, worms right so this distinction can be arbitrary however depending on which organisms infections we are most concerned with right thus like take example anaphilis mosquito it is the vector for parasitic disease called it as malaria which parasites is there for malaria plasmodium vivax right plasmodium species because we care more about the health of the human host than that of the mosquito right so however in addition the malarial parasite or malaria parasite has a much greater impact on the health of the human host than it does on the health of the mosquito vector so this is very important right suppose there are two types of biological vectors we'll see them the first one is biological and the second one is uh, types of vector uh, material and the other one is mechanical vector the real confusion between host and vector comes from the concept of biological vector right so second one within both host and biological vector right within both the host and biological vector the parasite undergoes some aspect of its life cycle okay thus in one sense all the hosts that can pass a parasite on particularly 
to the another species of host right it is also called it as biological vector right however if the parasite does not undergo some aspect of its life cycle as it is transported by one organism to the second then the first organism is described as a mechanical vector right so what is meant by biological mechanical i hope so you understood this one example flies can be mechanical vectors for feces or feces borne pathogens like salmonella typhi or salmonella particularly so these are mechanical vector but if you see the mosquito it carries actually biological vector it carries live organisms so types of host now we are going to see the first type is definitive host what is meant by definitive host the host okay the host in which the parasites goes through its sexual cycle the host in which parasite which is in, in entered in the host it goes through its actual sexual cycle like a fertilization and meiosis division example says plasmodium species the mosquito serves as a definitive host of the malaria parasite mosquitoes are the definitive host because in the mosquito plasmodium is actually driving its all sexual cycle right like a fertilization and then development through meiosis and everything example like a snakes near about 30 species serves as a definitive host for sarcocystis definitive host for sarcocystis singaporensis okay it's a disease of mammal basically it is the definitive host on the snake now next is next type is intermediate host okay what is intermediate host the host in which the parasite replicates but does not go through the sexual cycle okay it replicates within the host but does not go through sexual cycle so like in the mammal mammal is a, including the humans like serves as a intermediate host for malaria like, like a plasmodium so whatever fertilized uh, embryos okay or what or what we call as embryoids which has been inserted into the blood of the uh, mammals or the humans and immediately it is taken up after the maturation by the another mosquito that kind of uh, cycle is comes or completed with the plasmodium the other example is mammal around 30 species including human serves as intermediate host for what sarcocystis singaporensis again same with the snake okay so it's a biological control the these bacteria has been proposed as a biological control of rodent pest apparently it can selectively kill them right so next one the next type is reservoir host what is meant by reservoir host the reservoir host is the population in which a parasite residues okay the parasite resides i'm sorry parasite resides when it isn't affecting a population that we care more about right so example the rabies virus normally is passed back and forth rabies virus normally passed back and forth among the wild mammal right this serves as the reservoir host the populations that we don't much care about if occasionally however rabies can infect the pest okay rabies can infect the pets in occasionally okay like the rabies virus is actually serving as a reservoir host in dogs right so whenever dogs bites we get uh, like uh, more chances to get the rabies infection so that's why we need to immediately uh, go to the uh, hospital and get uh, injected with the uh, uh, anti rabies uh, drugs right so to prevent the later first we vaccinate the pets okay to avoid handling with a wild animal otherwise attempt to reduce the incidence of rabies in reservoir pops so this is called it as reservoir host 